Our next presenter is Aisu Kuru, and the title of her presentation is Biomimicry in Architecture, Designing Buildings Inspired by the Golden Barrel Cactus. How can buildings learn from nature? Organisms look and act different in their local environments adapted to climate. Like a cactus surviving in the desert without additional resources, wouldn't it be great if buildings were doing what the cactus does, if they could adapt to climate and provide energy-free cooling? That is exactly what I've done. I've designed a building inspired by the cactus. We can learn from nature to develop more efficient and truly sustainable solutions. This is called biomimicry. Biomimicry is looking at nature as a source of solutions to technical problems. Sounds simple, but how can a designer find a biological solution? In my research, I've investigated over 150 organisms and their natural adaptations. I've created a database where designers can find solutions from nature and developed a method to use this database to design buildings that can adapt to climate. Then I've designed several buildings and tested them through computer simulations. The organism that I'm working on is the golden barrel cactus. The golden barrel cactus has adapted itself to survive in the desert. For example, it expands its surface area up to 50%. It shades itself with its spikes for cooling. It breathes through its pores at night to conserve water. I transferred these adaptations into a building that cools itself down by expanding its surface, shading, and breathing. And I tested it through simulations to see how it works. The results show that my design consumes 30% less energy and it is 40% more comfortable than a conventional design. With my design, buildings don't need a cooling system anymore as they can adapt to climate and provide free cooling. Using my method, designers can find inspiration and information from nature. And learning from nature, we can develop more efficient solutions than what is available today. So ask yourself next time, when you face a technical problem, how does nature already solve this? Thank you.